intend to do our part to make sure that Janine Jones takes her last breath from behind prison. The woman known as the angel of death indicted for the murder of another child in Bear County today. The former nurse is already behind bars for the death of one child 32 years ago, though she's suspected of killing dozens of other babies. It's a case that's hard to forget and even more shocking. Janine Jones is set to be freed from prison March 1st of next year because of a mandatory release law. But prosecutors say they hope this indictment will keep her behind bars for the rest of her life. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker has the details. My opinion, I believe Janine Jones is an evil woman. I think her conscience is seared. I don't think she looks at the world the way we do. Bear County District Attorney Nico LaHood says this new indictment charges Jones with the murder of 11-month-old Joshua Sawyer. It states that Jones introduced a drug into the infant's body that caused him to die on December 12, 1981. LaHood says Sawyer's mother cried tears of joy and relief when she heard the news of the indictment. The mom, as you can imagine, was very emotional. I think she had just kind of resolved to the fact that, that this woman could get out, that her son was never going to be accounted for by this woman. I mean, I think a lot of families believe that. Jones was suspected of killing up to 60 babies while working as a nurse before she was convicted on one murder charge in 1985 and sentenced to 99 years in prison. We are going to do our best with the evidence provided to us and in good faith to hold her accountable for as many of those children as possible. That victim, 15-month-old Chelsea McClellan, has thus far been the only murder conviction. She was also later convicted of attempted homicide and sentenced to a concurrent 60-year term. So far, she's been denied parole at every request. We intend to do our part to make sure that Janine Jones takes her last breath from behind prison. The bond in her latest indictment has been set at $1 million. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.